Forever. Along the way, she's collected a shelf full of Grammys, sold out world tours, and added actress and author to her resume. All that was left to do was take a little time for herself. Now, after a five-year break, Tina is back, and her fans can all breathe a sigh of relief. And Tina Turner's here to fill us in on her life in her brand new double CD anthology that's called All the Best. Tina Turner, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you. I, I feel privileged because the last time we talked, you were coming off a several-year hiatus. <sighs> and now I get to talk to you again after you're well-rested and, and coming off this break. What have you been doing for the last five years? Exactly what I wanted. I, my career always took me away from home. I was always away from home, and I just wanted to be at home. So was it planned, or was it that you just got kind of back home and said, you know, this feels good, I'm going to stay here for a while? No, no, no. Uh, I had talked to Roger about it for some time. I told him I, 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 I really need, I wanted five years. I said, I want to see what it feels like to be away five years. Well, <laughs> these days, if you're away five years, you might not be able to get back. <laughs> Any worries about that? No, I didn't worry about it because I kind of felt like I, I left a good uh, a message uh, in memory with the people in terms of my work. And I always felt that with a good record, I could always uh, come back and but, do but well. But you are a born performer, and, and when I see you on stage, uh, you, you explode up there. I mean, so when you're in that quiet time at home, are the, are the echoes of the cheers always in your, in your head? No, it's actually quite separate. When I'm home, it's, it's different. It's not work. It's just whatever I want to do at home. A little decorating or easy life, what normal people do. So did something click? I mean, so you said to Roger, who's your manager, I yeah, time, you, had, yeah. you wanted five years, you got the five years, and at the end, were you itching a little bit to get back to the stage? No, no, no. Actually, I could have had a few more, but um, the company, the record company was asking for our greatest hits. And Greatest Hits is easy because one has nothing to do, except that we both, Roger and I, felt that new songs should be there because I've been away for a while, and we just need to show up with something. And that's why the decision was to do some new songs. Well, so let's talk about that, because when you, when you put out a Greatest Hits CD, double CD, and you add some new songs, that means you're putting these new songs next to classics. That's right. And it's hard for some of these songs to live up when they're living in that kind of a neighborhood. You're asking the right questions. This is so good. So, so how did you choose those songs? Well, the choice that I made was for our best, for my best music, for the songs that I knew that the public liked. And then, when I recorded my new songs, I found that my old material had not faded. It was still covered. The music was good. The songs was great. I sat in my house and listened like with chills and I thought, how great is that? It hasn't dated. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's great. And you're confident that when people listen to Proud Mary, they listen to What's Love Got to Do With It and then Open Arms, that they won't feel as if they've lost anything in quality there. I tell you, when you hear it, you'll see. You, you, nothing is lost. Everything is right. That's what I'm very proud of is because the quality of work that I did shows up now. I'm so happy about that. Who is your audience today Ooh. after after five decades in the music business? You wouldn't believe that I still have the bikers with the caps to the side <laughs> at, my, at my door ringing the doorbell. And... I still look out in the audience from time to time if I'm in a restaurant, if I'm walking the street. And when I'm in public, I went to catch a few shows in Europe and the place stood up for me. It was wonderful. It, so, was, it felt really, really good. They're still there. They're young. I would have to say some of them are really quite young. Maybe that's the parents that are saying, ah, Tina, blah, blah, blah. Go check out what there. I've yes. listened to for so many right. years. They're still young. They're still there. And it's just still something that, that attracts the young and the people of my age. And so when the parents tell their kids, wait till you see this chick up on stage <laughs> because she moves like no one else moves and she never stops. Yeah. So at 60, can I say it? 65. 65. Right. Can you do that? I, I can still do it. I don't know what happens if I had to do it every night for a year. I'm in shape. I think there's body memory there of all of that stuff, you know, and I think if I didn't overdo it, I think it would be possible. Everyone is asking me that question, trying to squeeze me back out there somehow, but uh, yeah, I can still do it, but maybe not to the extent of such a very long tour. You and know, nice I, and easy, or something then, like that. Then you can handle that. And if I come to see on stage, am I going to see the legs? 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, not like the normal. <laughs> There's another way of doing Some the legs. Some of those legs. skirts were short, <laughs> but, by the way. Uh, but probably not that short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you about acting, because it's been 20 ne years now since you did Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome with Mel Gibson. Right. And when I saw that movie, Tina, I thought, you're going to do a lot of movies. And what you happened? haven't done. No. Why? Well... I think it was a number of things. The right scripts. A lot of scripts came in that I didn't want to do. I loved Mad Max. I loved Acid Queen. But I didn't like the hooker parts. Everything, you know, I think they, they were trying to slot me in, starting me on the, you call it B grade or whatever, some right. of those ones. And I just wasn't comfortable with it. I thought, I'll either wait until something comes along that I'll be really happy to do, or uh, then I just won't get into it. But I don't want to act just to be on the screen doing anything and looking any kind of way. I have a bit of pride about that, so. And so when the CD has come out and people get to, to hear the music again, you think you may then go back and dive back into Switzerland for a while and, and disappear again? No, I, you know, I, I made, I feel my promise. I said I will continue to record and I will do my promotions. And now people are asking, oh, one more tour. I've been thinking about some kind of tour, not from desire, but for the people. I think it's something really important. Yeah, but if you don't have the desire, can you really go out there and do it the right way? If I plan it, if I organize it how I will like it, but I don't want to do what I've done in the past, I would like a bit of a change. Tina Turner, what a pleasure to have you back. Thank you. And we're looking forward to you doing a little singing for us as well. All right. It's always a thrill. Thank and you. the new double CD is called All the Best. And tomorrow, on day two of our Two Days with Tina Spectacular, Ms. Turner will be back to perform some oldies but very goodies and a song that's destined to become a new favorite.